everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, today we are in uh, just outside Omaha, or uh, on the outskirts, I guess. And, you know, I haven't hardly done any trips out of Omaha, so I figured I better give it some love here and get a trip in. And we got the FLX, and which is real nice to get back into. And uh, Pister's Murray with the extended rear and wide load. And rear jammed into the building <laughs> when it loaded see i'm all the trucks tilted a bit the trailers tilted a bunch let's see if we can get it off of here and we're going to north platte to uh, k and d equipment in north platte let's see if we can oh, we gotta get the brakes off let's see if we can get this thing off the building here there we go now all we gotta do is get out of the yard So I turned the engine down a little bit. Didn't want to turn it down too much because I think I had it too quiet before. And I have no idea why the video didn't fit full screen. Now that's a poser because I'm recording in my native screen resolution, which is uh, 2560 by 1440. I'm processing it turn right. at 2560 by 1440 in uh, DaVinci. And no idea meters. what happened Turn there. Right. Anyway, Turn left. hopefully this one's right, and uh, it isn't. Gonna have to just figure it out. Oh, dude, don't just... <laughs> there you go. I better get my beacons on here in my lights. Now, I've got to get a handle on this load, so just have a little look here. Oops. What about here? Yeah, so it's a lane. Continue straight. Oh, look at all the traffic. What's going on up there? Kind of getting into that other lane. This doesn't all clear out soon, I'll... I'll just have to fly on up there. God, they're moving out of there pretty slow. So as far as uh, weight goes, we're at uh, 53,389. Oh boy. If one of those guys stops and doesn't turn right on the red, I'm gonna go. What's that next guy doing? Oh, he's just sitting there. Shoot. Hmm. Maybe what we should do... Let's do this instead. Where is that? Oh. oh I don't have the command in here yet. Shoot, I'll have to uh, remember what it is. I think it's... G... Traffic. No, I guess we gotta get the underscore. There we go. Now we'll just go back, I'll set it to one again, and get on up there. Wish you could do that in real life, huh? And then turn right. Turn right. So this is one of those uh, 16 wheel trailers. You can get around here without hitting the pole. Whoops. Oh yeah, lots of room. Well, I probably haven't driven this road before. It's uh, showing it is getting discovered here. Whoops, got my mic all turned around. Of course, in this profile, I've uh, not been anywhere in Nebraska. See, most of the driving I do in the 359 has been in the Friday night convoys with the Wild Bunch. Keep right, and then turn right. 
Yeah, two turning lanes here. Turn right. Uh, the engine is uh, Slav Jerry C12. I haven't driven it in a long time. Seems like forever. Oh, that's kind of weird. Those lanes just merged into one. No real warning. Big stutter. I was kind of surprised I hadn't seen a stutter like that in a while. Keep left. If you don't remember on this trailer, there's two chassis configurations. And when we can, we'll get out and have a look at which one this is. And you can see the difference. It's not really insignificant. It's makes it much wider. Man, I don't even want to look at my mirror right now. Trailer damage 1%. No, how that happened. I don't think we hit anything. Pass this interchange, this merge up here, and then we can maybe get in the right lane. Everybody's moving right. All right, let's get a look at this. Oops. Um, so you can see how wide the. Oh, whoops. Let's try and stay on the road. See how wide the trailer, the uh, trailer wheels are set. This chassis is set outside the width of the side rails. Oops. You can see how wide it is if you just look above the fender on the trailer. So that's the optional configuration. I think it costs $4,000 more. And then the other configuration is narrower. But this is a good, good trailer for a load like this because the amount of uh, mass and where it is on the trailer, it's going to be pretty unstable. It's not like you're carrying, you know, like the crane weights, the counterweights that are a very solid, low, Keep left. stable load. Wow, look at the shadows on that truck. That was an SCS truck. Wow, I wonder if that's uh, Keep left. JBX or PNG. I have to look for that, see if we keep seeing it, then take one of them out, see which one changes that. I have to have a look at this truck up here when we get there. Well, I think maybe you can see the uh, display this time across the top of the screen. See the frame rates and GPU temp and GPU and CPU utilization. 
The GPU and CPU are in the far right. And the frame rate's on the top left. GPU temp is 67C. That's nice and cool. I say you're just running it at stock settings. Well, if anybody's heard anything, what's going on with this truck and uh, that, uh, what was it called? Uh, Modfy? I think it was the uh, authentication thingy or whatever. If FLX is staying on that route or making it optional or giving it up. Oh, there's another road event over there. Uh, they got it all going on. I should actually uh, pick up the speed a bit here. Oh, I don't have the... Uh, the app's not working. I could put it past 79. Hmm. Oh, I probably don't have it turned on. No, that's not good. But my miles aren't counting in Trucks Book. For some reason, I can't figure it out. And uh, I kind of, like I say, reached out in the Discord and crickets. I don't know what's going on. I got it installed. I can go to the website. I can look at my profile. Uh, I can see everybody's progress. The company uh, can see all kinds of stuff. And I'm a, I don't know, premium member or whatever it is. So I can see all kinds of neat things. But uh, I can't figure out where the truck's book, how to enable it for the truck. It just, it's escaped me. Simple question, but it's kind of weird that nobody's answering. Oh well. Maybe somebody has and I just haven't looked yet. It's uh, been a crazy afternoon. Uh, just doing this one just after supper, which is great. It's way ahead of where I've been doing them lately. I was going to do it before supper, but my um, eldest uh, daughter, her boyfriend works. He's a, he's a, um, you know, an artist guy. He does the graphic. He's a graphic artist, and he works for a company that's contracted to do to work for the Calgary Stampede and he's working out of the Calgary Stampede office and Calgary Stampede is on right now and if you don't know it's like this crazy event like they get 160,000 people there a day and it's 10 days and it's nuts so he's been taking transit to work because there's no way to park down there it's just a zoo so <laughs> Uh, she wanted to go meet him and they were going to go do some stuff after he gets off work and then they're going to see a concert down at the Stampede tonight, like 10 p.m. or something. So, long story short, uh, Meg was going to take transit down there and I thought, oh, it's super hot out, or at least for us. It's like 88, 90 degrees, something like that. It's, very, it's hot. And uh, so I thought, well, geez, why not take the caddy down? I'll give you a lift down and enjoy it. Enjoy some of that hot weather. So I wasn't thinking about rush hour. <laughs> so, of course, we're going against traffic going down there. We got down there in good time. But, oh, my God, just the area right around there and trying to get out of there. So it took about half an hour to get down there. It took an hour to get back to our neighborhood. 
So, and I, and I didn't take any, once I got out of the cluster that was downtown, I just took alternate routes everywhere. Like truck, truck routes and, um, there are actually not really any truck routes. There were routes that are available to trucks. I know them from when I was driving, but it's all through industrial type areas. And there is some old industrial areas still a little close to the core. And so I was able to get out of there pretty handily once I got out of that immediate, you know, 10 block area. Oh, the scale, shoot. Pull in for that. Right here. Wow, that was close. Close to missing it. And let's see, what have we got on? 53,389. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. 95,000. 95,000? Yeah, I'll go with that. Trailer's got to wear a fair bit, although it looks kind of like with the configuration, it doesn't have the room, the uh, drop neck like you know where you typical low boy where you drive away with the neck and you drive the cargo on and off the front of the trailer. This one comes off the back, so it doesn't have all that weight. Ninety one nine three, yeah. So I guess this weighs a little less than the. See what I mean? Like the front of it, it looks kind of light. In the, in the cargo, if you're driving it on, drives up from the back. And there's ramps that, uh, they're just physical ramps you put in place. I'm surprised they're not up there on the uh, neck. one thing I want to try real soon too is I would like to try um, taking a triple grain trailer through one of those sites that you know has dynamic loading see if you can load a triple now if that's changed Pretty sure I tried it before. It didn't work. I thought there was a car there. Where'd he go? Oh, that's a red one. There's a gray one. I guess he uh, spawned out. Keep right. And then exit right. And we gotta be getting close. 40 miles to go. Exit right. Cook. We're going to North Platte. I wonder if this is that. Uh, I mean, I saw it on the map. It looked like that K and D site that we. Uh, what did we haul out of there? Hmm. Forget now. I wonder if it was one of Linus's loads. Oh, or did we take a Linus load there? Where we had to stuff it in the doorway. kind of went through the building. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Oh, and that light can't stay green, can it? Uh, ready on the brakes. Yeah, oh. So yeah, cool trailer. Oh, that's the stiletto skin, paintable, so I kind of threw black and tan on the trailer just to complement it if, if 
I don't know if that worked or not. You have to tell me. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at these colors getting something that looks real cool. I couldn't believe how long it takes me. And I know some people, especially, you know, I should get my kids to do it. They have such a good eye. They're artists, you know. Kid, uh, say, uh, guys, get in here. Make that a color palette for the trucks. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. Yes, I come up with some real goofy things. Like, you know, you have all those color choices that you can drop the uh, colors down into, the choices you make. Uh, I pretty much fill it up, and I'll have these multicolor paint jobs, like 15 of them all in a row, and maybe three of them look any good. Oh, so sad. You probably notice on some of the uh, thumbnails I put out of the, you know, the photos with the skin on Steam, and you'll see some of them are uh, pretty sketchy looking. Continue straight. There's the site up there on the left. I really like this area right around here too, this road. It's kind of neat. Keep left. And pin, turn left. Turn left. Yeah, this... This is it. I'm pretty sure this is where he took that line of slowed. Stuck it, stuck it through that doorway. <laughs> well, wait a minute. We put the trailer through the doorway. In 400 meters. The, uh, it was a link belt uh, log loader, I think. We loaded it through, <laughs> through the building. Turn left. Hey, we never did a uh, drive-by. Do a slow-speed drive-by here. It just looks like... In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. There's that... Uh, no, oh, this isn't the building either where we took the Linus one. We did do one here. You've arrived. I think I did a pickup here. Honor and duty to see you through this mission. That's right. We picked something up here. It was... Oh, darn. I can't... It, yeah, it was a different yard. Oh, I know. It was that city works yard somewhere. Let's play it safe. Well, we don't get an option. What's going on? Oh, that is weird. I gotta look at that. See what's going on here. I wonder if that's because it's a wide load. Can't even see that on the ground. Oh, there. I'm gonna have to do a do, -si -do to get that back of that trailer in. Oh, it'll take it. Oops. Back up a little bit. Well, that's a cool load. Cool trailer. Stress. Not too stressful. And uh, nice big wide load. No pilot car, but uh, we got away with it. <laughs> All right. Lights. Beacons. Action. Excellent. Well, that's pretty cool. Love the truck. Sure hope that uh, Modify doesn't put an end to it for everybody. And uh, trailer is pretty darn cool. See, there's the ramps bolted back in place. Well, you know what I mean? Uh, 
chained down. I guess they're in that little well area, so they're not going to skid out of there. But, uh, yeah, you see now how, if you look up over the, uh, you know, it's like one wheel width wider than the body of the trailer at the rear. The rear axles are much wider. Oh, look at that, too. Yeah, I think I mentioned that before. See that? It's hydraulic ram in there. And this is... A different position. Well, it should cost the same then. Why does it cost more? Because all they've done is use the hydraulics to run the, the width out. Hmm. Say, oops, crap. I want to read the Murray label there. God dang it. Come on. See, we. So, one on the side. I'd like, like to read it without Murray trailer. Division of Hogan Manufacturing. All right. Well, there you go. Um, well, take care, guys. I'm going to uh, leave it here and uh, get on with doing other stuff. And uh, hopefully we catch you again soon. Once again, for everybody enduring all that crazy weather. Um, and I feel for you. Just, you know, I don't know what to say. I, you know, I can't change anything for you or whatever else. But I sure feel for you. And uh, as always, guys, take care. We'll catch you on the next one, and bye for now.